Shelby and Cole are finally getting married today. Although marriage in some ways is just another step in their relationship, it is the most important one that they will ever take. It is a bond that unites their hearts and their minds into a lifelong partnership that is stronger than two individuals alone can ever be. Marriage is so much more than speaking promises and signing a document. Marriage is an eternal vow, and no matter what the world might say, these two people have pledged themselves to each other. A pledge to support each other, nurture each other, and love each other for the rest of their lives. Give me one reason, give me one reason to turn, to turn back now. He said, just like a flower in its early stages, our journey has since blossomed into what it is today. Riding this roller coaster of life, we've had our ups and downs, twists and turns, lefts and rights, but through it all, we prevailed. Nonetheless, hanging on the highs has made this all one heck of an interesting ride. Give me one reason, give me one reason to turn, to turn. Look at your beautiful face first. How you doing, sweetheart? I you to see it. Well, <laughs> it's just dad on that. I hate to use it, but I just, I'm good now. I had a tear before you got off here. I'm a lucky man to have this guy. All right, says, I love so many things about you, Cole. About eight years ago, you wrote me a letter where you named all the reasons you love me, and now I'd like to name a few things I love about you. I love your goofy sense of humor and how you can always put a smile on anyone's face. I love the way you fit in with my family. I love them like your own. I love your ambition to always learn new things, and I love that you love me and make me happy. <laughs> yes. It's got a Glen, it's called a Glen Karen. It's a bourbon glass. These are awesome. Oh, sweet. It's cologne. Ralph Lauren. That's awesome. It's probably really expensive. <laughs> At first I thought my feelings for you were indescribable, but I know what it is now. So to finally tell you how I really feel about you, Shelby, I love you. I was going to wait to tell you, but I can't. So to end this letter, I'd like to say for the first time that I love you. You make me happier than I would be if I hadn't met you, but out of everything you do, you make me go to bed at night hoping that this relationship never ends. There is no one else in the world that compares to you, which is why you're special to me. I never want to lose you. taking the steps to be married, you promise to give each other the gift of time 
patience and grace to love each other tomorrow, the next day, and always. You make a promise to exercise your love and to stretch it large enough to embrace the unforeseen obstacles of the future. Your marriage to one another is truly a gift. May your mornings bring joy and your evenings bring peace. May your troubles grow few as your blessings increase. May that your hands be forever clasped in friendship and your hearts joined forever in love. Your lives are very special. God has touched you in many ways. May his blessings rest upon you and fill all your coming days. I now, as a minister of Jesus Christ, and by the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Illinois, pronounce you a husband and wife. Cole, you may kiss your bride. You said when you can't find God on earth, copy how I breathe. We would double up and cry. You were right there by me. Midsummer. Let me tell you, Cole and Shelby as a couple is just wow. When I lived with them, oftentimes I would feel like I was their child, holding their hands on walks, riding bikes with them. It was sweet, but they also kind of failed in the parenting department because I don't think kids are allowed to have alcohol or be at home by themselves. So thanks. I could really say anything about Cole right now because I can guarantee you he's not paying attention. <laughs> Cole has been in our family since I was 12 years old and is the big brother I never had, always picking on me and giving me crap. Since the first day I met him, he's tapped me on the shoulder <laughs> and moved to the other side, just trying to be sneaky. He now wonders how I've caught on and not fallen for his tricks anymore. I hate to tell him he's been doing it for nine years and I'm not that big of a blonde. My final nuggets of knowledge is to always be on the same team, learn to say I'm sorry, and never lie, steal, cheat, or drink. But if you must lie, lie in the arms of the one you love. If you must steal, steal the hearts of others. If you must cheat, cheat death. And if you must drink, Drink in the moments that take your breath away. To Cole and Shelby Keppen. Shelby, and I hope you two have a long, happy marriage. Just FYI, I'm ready to be an awesome aunt ASAP. <laughs> Cheers to Shelby and Cole. <laughs>